the rules for kids on the spectrum, you, it's a totally different set of rules. Madeline is four years old, you know, I'm her dad, so she's the sweetest little girl and cutest little girl that there ever was. You know, we wanted to believe, hey, there's nothing wrong with her, and she was so normal some of the times and just had these little quirks some of the other times. Early on when she would talk, um, she would get her pronouns mixed up, and so we would ask Madeline, Madeline, do you want some juice? And when Madeline wanted some juice, she was just repeating what she heard us say, so she would say, you want some juice? which meant, I want some juice. Eye contact was another. You had to really fight to get her to look at you when you were talking to her or when she was talking to you. I guess Mitchell's Place is really the first people that we talked to that it was clear, hey, this is their thing. This is, they know about this. They're well versed in it. They're intelligent about it and what they're saying makes sense and lines up with, with what we're experiencing. Madeline's been in Mitchell's Place for five months now. The biggest thing for us is her potty training has come a long way. I never thought I'd see the day um, a year ago. I just figured she'd always wear a diaper. Socially, she always kind of wanted to just keep to herself. We'd look up and she'd be standing at, her, at the couch playing with a toy with her back to the room. And now she's a lot more involved and um, Noah gets to participate with her. He kind of forces himself on her, which is good for her. For the longest time, she had her two or three things that she would eat. We noticed a lot of change in terms of her receptiveness to being willing to, to try new food. It still can be a struggle at times, but it's, it's leaps and bounds better than it was. Mitchell Place brought a lot to the table in terms of helping us, giving us a guide on how to parent. Having a group of teachers that have the experience with autism and, and the child psychologists and the OTs and the, and the speech, it definitely helps with being able to ask the question, hey, what do we do here? You know, if she doesn't, if she doesn't eat, and doesn't want to eat, do we need to punish her? I mean, what do we do? It's kind of hard to imagine back where we were a year ago compared to where we are today and, and how much better Madeline is doing with all of those, you know, four or five things that we kind of earmarked as, hey, this is not quite right. They're still not quite right because she's on the spectrum and she's always going to be a little different, but I mean, she's worlds apart from where she was.